Ladies Tinker students, and welcome to the Code Lab on Tinker Live. This is the show that helps students and teachers make and create with Tinker Code. I'm David Lockhart of Tinker. Now let's create together. And this today, actually, we will be making soccer juggling in augmented reality. So some soccer juggling here. And to help me with this project is my good friend, Mr. Rezac. How are you, Mr. Rezac? I'm good. Um, thanks for having me back on the show. So glad to uh, to be here. <laughs> well, you're the one that tells me who's on the show, so that's great that you're here. So that's good. Um, oh, you bet. <laughs> so kind of what we're going to do today is we're going to build the soccer juggling project together, and then we're going to have some customizations. And I know you, knowing you, you probably have all kinds of really cool ones. I have one kind of in mind that we can do, but you may steal my thunder with that one is my guess. So we'll see. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I will. Uh, it's not a terribly, uh, I would say, difficult project. But so there are some uh, some things we can do to make it a little bit more uh, challenging. So uh, I'm ready. I don't awesome. know about you. I'm ready to go. I am ready as well. And as always, you can chat with us. Now, something about the chat is I did notice prior to us going live that there's some chatter in there. Um, we have some students that are trying to post with their name. So I just want to remind you that you can't post with your name. It's just student privacy. There's nothing we can do about it. So just don't log into Padlet, post anonymously, and we can approve those comments. And what's easy today is getting started with this project is actually super, super easy. Is you just go to go tinker slash sucker juggling. That's it. Go to that. It should open that project right up. And it's a good point to kind of see as we kind of go through projects and we do some of the projects together, you can share projects by just a URL. If you can take that URL, share them out with others, um, and others can open them up, play them, and they can even save stuff to their backpack. Now, Mr. Rizek, are you ready to share your screen? I'm ready. Awesome. So go ahead and do so, and we are ready for you to take control. Taking control. <laughs> Doing it now. Um, so yeah, I'll put this up here first. Uh, but hey, this link uh, will take you to the project. Um, I will always tell you, though, you should always log in first. Uh, some of our projects that are out there, you know, you can you can start them. But uh, if you want to save them, that's going to be a different problem. So uh, so do go to tinker.com, sign in as a student, teacher, wherever your you know, heart desires. And then you can go to go tinker slash soccer juggling. Uh, I'm going to close that window for now. If you do see my cat running around here, it's just because this cat is just crazy and will not leave me alone. Um, but uh, this is the soccer juggling project. And I, I you know, one of the things I, uh, I like to always uh, just highlight some of the things that I don't see shared enough uh, and on, t uh, you know, on Twitter or, or when we're sharing projects that uh, have been made with code. And so we have these great, this great opportunity to use um, augmented reality uh, blocks. And uh, one of the things I can show you off the bat before I get to the project is for some of you that um, wanna eventually make more of these uh, types of projects, when you log in, and let's just say I'm gonna do this as a blank project so you can just see uh, kind of what this looks like. You can add the augmented reality blocks uh, um, extension. This is a, a new thing for Tinker is that we've been uh, we've been adding these extensions, uh, and there's all these different opportunities right here. So if you go to the Tinker Workshop and you go to the bottom left, you see that there are um, all these motion, animation, sensing, sound, synth, pen, physics, augmented reality. So there's going to be some opportunities for you to code in AR where it's going to you know, activate your camera and it's going to allow you to do some things that you didn't uh, maybe not have had before. Uh, and so this helps you, by the way, you know, if you're whether you're doing robotics or you're doing game kits or any of this stuff, it's going to help you so that you don't clutter up your, your Tinker library, your block library. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I did add that, but you know, while you're there, you can add a few more if you like. You can add the physics blocks. That's always a, um, you know, those are great and important. 
Um, there's new audio blocks that we just added. There's robotics, there's game kits. That's where those reside. I know some people, uh, some students have been asking about the platformer and the, the game stuff there. So I'm not gonna use this project right now, but I did add those AR blocks, but I'm gonna go back to the link that we, uh, we shared. And I, I did just put it in the, um, the chat too. So for those of you that are, are there, and there's not a lot to this project right now. It's kind of pre-built. So in that, in that sense, uh, it's a way for us to dip our toes into augmented reality. Uh, and so, uh, you know, if we've never done AR before, this is kind of how this is going to get us started. There's a little sample project here, kind of shows you what things are like uh, when you get started. And uh, so this will activate my camera and use me as a, a method for um, interacting with my actors that I'm coding. And so this is a lot of fun. Uh, I know that we have these projects, uh, the AR projects uh, work on the web and they also work on iPad as well. So we're gonna walk through these. I'm just gonna go through these four steps and we're gonna, we're gonna play around a little bit uh, as well and kind of see how things uh, move and change. So what we've done here is in this sample project right now, in this project, there's a couple of actors here. There's a couple of soccer balls. Uh, and there's only two, and one of them are already coded, right? The, this one has the video motion, uh, and it is uh, applying some physics so that when we touch the actors, uh, there's going to be, uh, um, or when the actors uh, um, are interacting with, with me, uh, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to react. So, so what we want to do basically is we want to copy that code, and so it looks like this. And I'm kind of stretching this out so everyone can see. And I, I blew this up pretty much about as big as I possibly can. Uh, and then we're going to imply impulse to self. And then um, you'll see kind of how uh, the logic of this project uh, works. So let's just take a look at that code uh, real quick. Um, we're going to, these are both of our soccer balls. And this is going to be how they interact with, uh, with uh, the stage. So if you look at the next step, uh, the next step actually shows you the code that's on the stage. And so right now we're just, we turn the video on, we set the transparency to 50% and the physics are starting and we've also set the gravity. So we'll go ahead and play with these, uh, um, these parameters here in just a moment, uh, but I'm gonna get kind of to the end here uh, and uh, go ahead and put this on big screen so we can all see what this looks like and I'm gonna juggle some soccer balls. So here we go. So we're gonna start this way and it will interact with me, right? So I got a couple here and you know, I, I can create a, you know, a uh, uh, kind of a little mini game here for myself so I don't let them hit the bottom if I don't want them to. Uh, and uh, I don't know how choppy this looks on your end, probably a little bit. It's, but... not, it's not bad. It really isn't bad uh, uh, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, if you're in a really bad wire, wireless network, it might uh, not be so good. Mine's not too bad right now. So this is a start, right? This is a good start. My, my question with all of these is always when you get to the end, you know, how do we make this our own? How do we make this our own? Uh, and what can we do uh, um, beyond, you know, soccer balls? Uh, and so, of course, we could... Uh, in fact, you guys can uh, answer that question in the chat too. You know, how do we how do we customize this a little bit? If you want to understand the physics a little bit more, um, you can go and we can start playing around with the gravity. Right now, it's set to five, which is pretty light. So, what do you guys think would happen if I set this to like fifty? Is it going to get really light, or is it going to get heavier? Uh, so this is something that we can play around with, and this will help us understand the physics of this project a little bit more and when we do future physics projects. So I see your chat. I see it in there. Are we going to get heavier or are we going to get lighter? Let us give it a try and see. So I'm going to hit play. So we just increased the gravity to 50. And oh, I can't even get them off the ground. Not even. Not gonna, not, nothing's happening. 
nothing's happening there. So at least now we understand how this gravity works and we can play with that parameter, uh, that a little bit more. Five is pretty good. If I went down to three, it might be even lighter, but I think, you know, whoever created this project, uh, wink, wink, um, had a little idea about how, how light they wanted the gravity to be. Um, this, uh, you know, the background, that's always something we can, you know, we can, we like to show it's easy to change. Uh, but of course you can add your own custom backgrounds and, you know, maybe the park isn't exactly where you want to play. Uh, maybe you want to draw your own or you want to just, you know, you want to juggle in the kitchen. Now we're going to create a whole different kind of uh, project, right? Because uh, now we're in the kitchen and we're juggling soccer balls in the kitchen. Uh, and there's another w thing we can do here. And before I get too crazy on these actors, so let's say maybe this isn't a soccer juggling uh, project and now we're in the kitchen. So what can I juggle in the kitchen? What, where, what can I do with this? Knowing, uh, make... knowing where this comes from, you could juggle some cupcakes. I could, <laughs> right. I could juggle some cupcakes. Uh, let me see what the media library has for us right now. I'm gonna go into, uh, into my gear here and add a costume and see if we've got anything in the media library that'll kind of work. I know we've got some cookie. Well, there you go. You're like, hey, you can, uh, maybe I could, you know, my, my, my child is a circus performer, so they practice juggling. And so maybe we need to get a little, uh, you know, um, they do juggling a lot. I could uh, add a costume there. I could go here, I could, uh, apple, a cake, um, can you really have some fun here? Um, but before I go too far with that, let me go and let's keep it on the, let's keep it on the knife here for a sec. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change this costume uh, and I'm gonna add that one here. There's, uh, where's the cupcake? You wanted the cupcake? All right, chat, you can chime in too. If you want me to add something here, I'm, I'm happy to do it for you. Uh, but let me make those a little bit more uh, pronounced. There we go. And so, uh, so now we're at it. We're definitely having some fun customizing the, uh, you know, the actors here, uh, making this into, you know, just something that's a little bit different. Uh, but why stop there, right? So it says, why stop at two, two soccer balls or two actors? What would be the quickest and easiest way for me to copy these actors and duplicate, um, uh, what we have going on here. I think it's those three dots on each of the actors will let you duplicate there. Yeah, so I can just duplicate and I can duplicate and I can keep going. I can duplicate, duplicate. Notice it's also carrying all the co the code along with it. Uh, so now I can get a little bit more, uh, more uh, um, creative here. And I can, you know, choose a garlic, a piece of garlic. That's great, uh, and just make this a lot of uh, a lot of fun here. Um, I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to juggle some eggs. I'm going to juggle a uh, piece of cheese, and I got that's pretty good. Now I just want to make sure that these are prominent enough so everybody can see them. Pretty good, right? You see the egg, you see my piece of cheese. There we go. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five actors. All right, we're gonna make this a little bigger and we're gonna practice juggling all of these things. Okay, Let's see how I do. Now I'm in the kitchen. Uh oh, my knife is not doing so well. Why is that? Why is that? Is that is it just because it's like a it's very slender and it's like a straight up kind of thing? I don't know. That's interesting. That's really really interesting that the knife is not juggling super super. Why is well. my knife uh, doing that? Let's check. So my impulse, all that's the same, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it may have something to do with the color, right? It might have something to do. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, with the fact that self, right, uh, is not. In, contrasting enough with the color of the knife. So I'm having a little uh, problem uh, connecting on that. I'm, I'm guessing that's it with some of these uh, augmented reality um, projects. 
that can definitely be a part of the problem. Um, so I can pick something else, uh, something else that's a little bit more um, contrasting. There we go, big old red tomato. And just to test. No, it doesn't want to do it on my, my tomato. <laughs> there it goes. There, there it goes. goes, there it goes, there it it's goes. coming up. Well, yeah. you know, the, now you got all these actors, you got some processing. Uh, uh, I, it just looks like you're kind of throwing them around. I don't know how much juggling you're actually doing. <laughs> right. That is a good, that's a good point, but that's something to consider. So something to consider some of these colors uh, are, are you know, how they interact with, yep. you know, my hands. Um, so it's always good. And I, I think I, I'm against uh, a pretty clear background. So like if you have a really noisy background, if you're in a, in a room with a lot of stuff back there, um, this can kind of go haywire, but if you do have a solid background, uh, for the most part, you're going to be uh, pretty good. I'd be curious uh, how does how does lighting play into this? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, if you're if it's really dark, it's going to have trouble picking you up, right? Yeah. Interesting. Now, my piece of cheese, that thing really has no problem uh, <laughs> um, hitting the right uh, the right spots. It measures the uh, weight as well of those items. <laughs> Right. Somehow it's uh, the gravity in that situation seems to be uh, not a problem. So yeah, my gravity, you know, is still set to, to five. These are, there's a couple other things you can manipulate here. You can manipulate your transparency uh, a little bit more. So if I want to be more prominent in my, um, uh, in my picture there, I can start upping the transparency or lowering it basically. You can kind of see what that looks like. Um, of course, there you go. So now I got no background, but uh, but I am able to. Uh, yeah, I'm really have no problem with this piece of cheese. It's really is doing great. Uh, but yeah, maybe a little bit um, of background, maybe 50% was too much. But you can see what happens now when you manipulate these uh, these things. Uh, but uh, but no, this is you know it's a simple project. It's not you know not super complicated. I'm happy to. If you guys have any suggestions in the chat, or if you, David, want to, uh, you know, tell me to try yeah, something. Yeah, I, I have one that I can try. If you, if when we can kind of flip back to you, if you get some suggestions in the chat, if that'll work. Sure. All right. So one of the things that I wanted to try, and I kind of tried a little bit before, is can you act? Can I actually? And if you would unshare your screen, I have a picture, and so I could actually get rid of the soccer ball and you can actually juggle my face so i can pull this out a little bit so we can see it that's good i can juggle my head a little bit and so we can my head is not juggling much but what you could also do is i could actually come over to the pencil and i don't know and i'd have to adjust the gravity and you could actually erase the green background in here as well so i could start erasing this so it's it could be just my head and i'm not going to go the whole way because it's going to be a lot of erasing but i can do that and we'll just hit save and now i could juggle i can try to juggle my head some i may have to adjust gravity and all that kind of stuff in here but you can do those things. You can juggle your face. You can put almost anything in there. And so I thought it was interesting to try to actually juggle my own face. Yeah, no, that's great. If you wanna, uh, I'll share back. I've got a couple other things I can point out here that are, that are pretty Well, cool. share your screen. Cause I just flipped back over to you and I we see it, you in full big screen. There you go. All right, so there's a couple more things too. So I actually might have a previous face of mine that is in my backpack. Um, I do tend to dive into my backpack a bunch. Um, but yeah, you can, there, well, there's a whole like body, I guess I could use that. Um, so that's one, I could use that. I could add that actor, <laughs> there you go. Um, and yeah, I could edit him a little bit the, if I want. The one with your mouth cut out is scares me a bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, that one is actually set. Uh, if you play him, if you play that, does he talk? Um, uh, he he had a sound at one point. Yeah, I think so. Um, here, let me. Uh, does his mouth move too? Let me duplicate that real quick and see. I don't know if this will come through in my 
current recording here, but uh, oh, but I need to, I do need to get this code on that yep. guy real quick. So that would be a lot. That would be a lot if to get this guy to not only um, uh, say something, but also get juggled. So now we may we may have some conflicts going on here, but we'll see. No, nope, no, nope, he's still <laughs> there. He goes. Dang it. <laughs> But now all of my gravity seems to be uh, so. Not, uh, not a question right. here: yeah. Is there something in the code that caused him to rotate? Um, well, no, he's that. That is part of the physics uh, blocks, gotcha. right? So all of these guys are rotating based on the physics principles. Well, and that's what I thought was interesting with the knife one is that it because you would think that the knife, if you could get it, would actually rotate around. Right there, we go. Getting a little bit more traction. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's a, uh, um, yeah, that's that. And so there's, uh, I wanted to just point out a couple things here. So there's, uh, you want to dive into some more augmented reality projects. If you go to your projects folder, students, and uh, you go over here, we do have a lot of uh, projects. You can start a blank AR project right there. There's some, um, you know, it'll, it'll kind of have come pre set with, um, uh, with the AR blocks and things like that. So you can do that. And I think there might be a folder here for you guys uh, to start uh, some additional augmented reality stuff too, but I might be wrong, uh, but I'm just gonna check anyway, because there's a lot of folders, JavaScript, basics, direction, physics, move, clicks, no, darn it. I was hoping there might be a, a little extra in there. I think but, uh, some of yeah. that may be mixed in in the block DIYs, but I think it's mixed in based off those. I But I'm not super sure. So like okay. some of the game elements and stuff like that, but and maybe the physics, but like I think it may be mixed in in those, but I, I don't think there's an, a, an augmented reality. Oh, there's right. AR projects where you could start your blank one that way, which that's right. A, that's there's a kind one. of a getting started with ar so that'll yep. that'll help you as well this project is pretty good too but this has a, a little bit of the similar stuff where basically we're juggling um, cody use, we're gonna i don't know if we're juggling cody but uh it'll uh, it'll animate alert uh if you tickle him i guess so we'll see what happens uh tickle tickle ah there you go <laughs> that's the first yeah. time i've kind of played with that one that one's funny yeah no that one's pretty good and that one doesn't have the the transparency block uh but if you wanted to add some transparency there so you could, uh, you could easily do that. shoot i think you could i mean you could take that code and copy that onto other actors and make some really interesting projects there yeah and that's a really good uh good thought, you know, how could you use the, this feature, basically, how could you use the feature in these augmented reality blocks um, in, a, in your own lessons or, or in a, your other projects? Uh, and I've asked that question a lot to, you know, to many of our teachers and our students. Uh, you know, why, if you can interact with your actors this way, uh, well, then how about building, let's say, like an interactive quiz? So you have a, a scene that comes up and there's an A and there's a B and you have a couple options and then you could actually pick your answer. Uh, moves on to another scene, gives you kind of like multiplication escape. That's another one that we just did recently. Uh, but let's say you were able to interact with that instead of clicking or tapping, you were able to just like, you know, hold your hand up and now suddenly you've, you've got an interactive quiz. So, or an interactive Kahoot or, or whatever they, uh, I like to call them these days, but uh, this is soccer juggling. But yeah, like you know, like I, like I say, you can it can be many things. It can be you know kitchen cupcake juggling. It can be a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, you ready to see if we have any questions in the chat? You want to flip over there and kind of see that? Yeah, if you have any questions in the chat, you know, go ahead and ask away. Uh, it sounds like you guys are at least enjoying the, uh, the show, which is great. Yep. Um, I see there's some uh, uh, interesting things going on in the, in the world today. So thanks for sharing <laughs> those things. 
Yeah, uh, you can uh, you can always post your your questions a little bit later if you want to as well. Yeah, and post your projects. We would definitely want to see your projects and see those as we kind of go through the week as well. Because I think that seeing kids' projects and what other kids are creating is definitely something that inspires us and inspires um, other students as well. Gotcha. All right. So you can never miss a show if you go to this go tinker slash add code lab it'll let you schedule and put this on your calendar and whatever calendar system you use it's really easy to use so definitely go and put code lab on your calendar and never miss a show and the next show is actually tomorrow a same time same bat channel um you're running the show tomorrow so which project are we doing tomorrow Tomorrow we are going to be doing, well, I know tomorrow is multiplication escape. So I did talk about uh, that. Uh, so you'll have a chance to do that tomorrow. Yeah. And I think that's a really interesting one that could be as far, kind of go from the block coding or from the augmented reality perspective as well. You could kind of tweak that one a bit. Yeah, we can play with that. Well, that's going to do it for us today on Code Lab. Thanks for being my guest, Mr. Rizak. Remember, let's create together at tinker.com and share those projects with us in the chat. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.